Con Art wants formal pranks. Or. I should investigate just in case. It might be an important clue. Yeah, just don't say time. I'll be dumb before I know it. Okay. In the backyard. Yeah, I saw the timer jump off. Yeah, I wonder if you're gonna investigate something or whatever. Yeah, go outside and let's, let's watch the fight. The, yeah. the, the most likely poorly animated fight. Oh, uh... I was gonna say maybe you should run, but I don't think the Exosol's actually... Can you get hit by it? I don't think I can. No, it's... Nah, it just goes through it. It technically doesn't exist. That's the casino area. Casino. All right, so where's the guard? I to the right, like... and to the left, and to the right. Okay. The frick? Oh, it's a Makuma. Oh, look at that. No, Loy have it. Dude, how do I even collect this? Got it. The hitbox is just finicky. That was super wonky. Man, these are in like all over the game. I just haven't been finding them. Go on the left side. Hmm. Uh, oh, look. Next is pipes. Oh, there it is. Here, he's be carrying grass, but it's completely removed. It shouldn't be hard to find it now. Look, gas when I saw it. Twins B. Twins B. Or if you flip them upside down, pursue him upside down cross. Peace suit. They're meant to be brought together. This little message is incomplete. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go again. No, another flashback! Oh, no! <laughs> Yoshi, quick, what's the relevance of Twins Peak? <laughs> what's the relevance of Twins Peak? <laughs> Suichi Saihara, do you have your ultimate memory back? The headmaster of Pope's Peak Academy, I want to ask you, me, Makoto, <sighs> to please cooperate with the Gopher Project. I do feel bad about this. Not that you all want to run, you have them no longer being ultimates. Those of you who have lives like, who have to live on like this might be the real victims here. Yoshi, your remote tells me nothing. <laughs> but the only people who would go through is with the project, U16 haven't been infected. Fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. Remember that like there are several hundred humans on the moon counting on your success. Glory to mankind. Yeah. Even if this ridiculous mission is a success and we all survive, what's the point? Why try so hard to save the seeds of humanity? I don't understand. Perhaps she'll be the ones who will create that point. Huh? It's true that this situation you're all being forced into is harsh. So harsh that you think it'd be better to just die. But I still want you all to live. For those of us who want to live, but can't, you 16 who can live are hope itself. So please, I don't want to see you give up hope. I want you to keep hope alive. I remembered something again. We were at Hope's Peak and we participated in the Gopher Project. That might hurt something crumbling above me. Oh, jeez.
Yep, it did right. just pan up to show the dongle. Alright. <laughs> Switchy, what's wrong? You alright? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, I experienced a sun flashback and my hand slipped. Do you remember too, Kibo? Yeah, we're at Hubs Peak Academy, about to sign off for the song for the Gopher Project. What's Makua thinking? You have to remember that now. Probably try and make us feel despair again. No, these memories. Yeah, this is very weird. Are you alright? Will you ill turn the killing gun on your way? No, it's going fine. I just really startled. That's really started. There's several reasons I can't be on the best kid. Here's you can investigate. Hmm. Rantar's lap is also inaccessible, thanks to Monku's ridiculous rule. Okay. Yeah, I'm concerned about that too. If only there was some way to get in. I'll help! Huh? Fast, drawing the door to his research lab, you can enter. That's... Okay, yeah, that'd be awesome. Alright, head to his lab, I'll meet you there. But be careful. Monku will be after you for conducting an investigation with that permission. The Excels may not kill you outright, but they'll definitely try to stop you. Yeah, like they did last time. Yeah, if things get dangerous, call me and I will deal with the Excels. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not your enemy. That's why I'm helping you with your investigation. But only until the time limit expires at dawn. Yeah, oh, it just turns into- oh, yeah! There he goes. Effing, like, double O, like, effing particle trails. Because the situation, because he can't hear his inner voice. I should focus on Rantaro. Okay. Might block the door for you. Yeah. Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? Okay. Alright. Gonna do everything I can. No giving up. I don't keep on hope. I keep hope alive. I do that. I had to get inside Rantaro's lab. Oh, you've unlocked the Kibo gun! <laughs> Hold Dexter R1 near an Excel to fill up energy. Energy is built to the max. Kibo will come save you. Use it as you need it. Heck yeah. Okay, so now the Excels are probably gonna, like, come at us. Yeah, probably. This is why I started using that rocking chair. Oh boy. Oh, that other, this other chair is so uncomfortable. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, it's fine. Sorry for interrupting voters of Pogano. Uh, ask Kibo for help. That's there's no trick or anything. We already know. Cracked idiot. Get oh, it runs off. Get out of here, mono kid. Oh, that's great. Oh, I can't even. Nope. I think Kaede's piano was in the way. How ironic. <laughs> Well, I don't need this, I guess. Just get the Rantaro's lab. Although, I like how you've got Maki's power, but she's not with you. Yeah. Oh, we don't need, like, Maki to be here to experience the power of her friendship. Heck yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Maki's pushing with us in our heart! As long as we have that, we'll never lose to Rubble! <laughs> Oh, I have to get rid of all of them. Yep. The stairs at? There they are. There are them stairs!
Wait, what? That way. Leave it to me, everyone. Pops! Just flies through the ceiling. Yeah, don't worry about it. Stairs. Stairs. Stairmaster, let's do this. Epic Makuma. Can we get him to go? He dancing. He doing it. Uh, where is this thing? Other side. It's been cosplay. Okay. Other side. Oh, jeez, I'm getting lost. There, smack those. The right, and that's behind you. Alright, kill breaks down this door. Yeah! <laughs> Do it, Kibo! These freaking cutscenes. Oh man. Yeah, thanks for waiting. It's one hell of an entrance. Destroy this door at once, please stand back. Can you imagine if they if uh, they triggered Kibo to do this immediately after he got his lab? Yeah. <laughs> and we just learned everything just right off the bat, with like all of us helping. <sighs> Is there anything else you would like to be able to access but can't? Please call me. I'll blast open entrance like the wine did for you right now. You know, he's anywhere I'd like to access. If I don't go anywhere with Kibo's help, that means I can get in there too? To the library? Probably. I think that might be the implication. Yeah. Ah, uh, Rintaro's lab. All right. <clears throat> the frig is this? <laughs> what is this town? I thought I'd understand once I came here. I don't get it at all! Hey, Shuichi! The explosion sound you breaking down the lab's door? That's pretty drastic. It was Kibo. But what is this place? It's got an awful atmosphere. Some kind of puzzle room? Maybe it's the ultimate quiz king and you finally got that top by winning game shows? Oh, well, we should investigate first. Yeah, be happy. The legendary mage is your sidekick. Well, that makes me feel better. How do you feel about puzzles? I don't know. I feel like I'm not bad. Oh. Right. It's okay. Lose two doors. So A is a bunch of Chai zodiac animals on it. B is a bunch of astrological signs on it. Okay, this might be a problem. With both these dolls to the right things, the vault will open. Um. So I had a hint source somewhere as Academy. Is there really a hint? Wait, it said something like B2, didn't it? What? Er, no, it was, was like, I think, Karakio's message. Or not. Kokichi? Yeah, Kokichi's message. Twins B. Twins B. Okay, yeah. So, Gemini. Twelve trizoic animals and twelve astrological signs. That's just twelve by twelve. Yeah, if we know that like B is Gemini, then like we can just go through A and we can just you know find it no problem. Let me think. And a B dot, one with Chai zodiac and the other with astrological symbols. And Sora in this academy, I'm sure I can solve this. Oh, is that what horse A was about? Okay, yeah. My magic. That's Sean Epiphany. I am legendary mage after all. Okay. Yeah, thanks. I have to try to inspect these dolls. Yeah, alright, I kinda got this.
easy or say actually was important. Yeah. Now how but open, but what all this mean? It means that somehow Kokichi knew about this. Didn't need cabbies, the vestures that Kokichi wrote. It's a clue for these dolls. If I remember correctly. Her drill message was written over. Remember. I'm going for saw and just said horse A. Kokichi add more to it. But it's just a diversion. Okay. Yeah, it's actually the complete clue. Oh my. So A should be on. Yeah, I figured this out. How do you think I opened it? <laughs> Chai Zodiac on Dolly was horse. The Arkham was in the. Yeah, I, I know. I just did it. <laughs> Maybe it's just explaining it for if someone like really forced it. Mm hmm. I don't know. That's the hast we've seen Hiko jump all game. Yeah. So that's what I meant. Thanks to your deductions, everything's all cleared off. I'm gonna add Kokichi all that stuff to it. He's trying to make himself seem like he was the mastermind. Need us to believe it. Trying to be the mastermind. Cause problems even after he's dead. He's such a pain. Explaining to Himiko because reasons. Let's see what's in the vault. It was in a difficult again here, but the rest of it's so important side. Game nervous, but if, is it okay if I bar first? No, hold it in. Do you feel nauseous when you're nervous? USB stick? My cool parents be there's something here, but how do we check inside? Just need a computer. Mm -hmm. And there's like nothing at all else in this room I can't even like try to investigate. Detective mode? Nope. There's still things to look at. Oh, there's a computer. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, I should be able to check the data. Alter Ego! The no. video? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> hey there. I I don't have to introduce myself. Um, Remember this video? Yeah. I've seen this before. And it had absolutely no context. <laughs> hey! Wait, what is this? Oh, that was Rantar, right? That's like because you paused it randomly, it just starts like buffering and screwing up or something. It's like, ah, dang it. <laughs> no, this is the worst time for this. Upon stopping this recording, it will be erased. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it was clear record in Lantaro's lab. But we were only able to get inside the room just now. No. It's supposed to open after Gonta's case, but because Rantar was already dead. Is locked permanently. Thanks to Kiba, we were able to get inside. And all this had Rantar record a video in this room. Uh, okay. okay. I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. I guess I should start from the beginning. First things first. I am you. No tricks, no actors. It's you. The reason you don't okay. record this is because that memory is erased. Think of this video as a message from the Rantaro before you lost your memory, to the Rantaro after you lost your memory. So, let's get to it then. The reason I recorded this footage. I won the right to a special perk for participating in the killing. Part of that perk is this video message. Okay. Kuma said he was going to make some kind of puzzle for the fact that you're watching this means that you've solved it already. Also, you can't share this with anyone. If you catch Monokuma shooing anyone away from you, that's why. There's another part of this perk. Something you get at the start of the game. I bet you know what I'm talking about. Something you've had from the start. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that if you were smart, you'd have used it to end the killing game. But if 
you're watching this, that obviously didn't work out. Life's in breeze at time. Well, anyway, that's the perk. Other than that, you're just like all the others. Wait, what was the perk? Go in, collect your memories. I don't know. That's the way it is. Stuff to do, I think. Told you this, but just in case, this killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Now the important part of that rule is that. <laughs> Looks like they didn't want me saying that, huh? Guess you'll have to solve that little mystery. But hey, you're smart. I know you can do it. So oh, there is one more thing. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first kill. Yeah, that's yeah. You survived the last. Ultimate Survivor, by the way, you called that. Did I? <laughs> yeah, you looked at his. You looked at the door, and you were trying to figure it out. And I think you jokingly said something like "ultimate survivalist" or something. Oh, all right. And I was, just <laughs> like, I was just like, "Freaking really? How the heck do I do that?" Because <laughs> like, if I was aware of that, I could like solve so much bullcrap. <laughs> That's why you get this perk, survival. Not all fun and games. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. And never forget. You won in this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. No matter what. So the person who dies first is the ultimate survivor. Yeah, sucks to be him. Oh boy. Kate uh, after the wrong guy. Like had a, was that like what it was before the killing game? Mm hmm I'd assume so. Killing game that he wanted? What's that mean? What did all this mean? Who was Rantaro Mommy? Say it's part of the last killing game if it was part of that survivor perk. He's the ultimate survivor, an expert at death games. Yeah, it didn't stop that bowling ball though. And those suspiciously arranged books. Shot put. Then why'd he die? Right, yeah, shot put. Though I was killing for him, was he talking around Kaede? No. no? Hmm. Two was the new Rantaro's true identity. And all the real mastermind will have known. It's right, it's right, hit in the account, he saw Rantaro to be- wait, what? Okay. Well. Hmm. Say it was killing game. Why do you want that? Jeez. If he hadn't done such a stupid thing, he probably wouldn't have been killed. In participating in the first place it was the other killing game because the killing game is yeah it's survivor perk had another part right you're right say so had at the start this is a really crappy message to yourself where you leave out like major glaring context that you might need after your memories are gone he tried to give more context and there was a big buzzer noise and he was like oh i can't say that yeah he tried to give more information I remember correctly. Then... Okay. okay. Never imagined the first victim would comprehend like this. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, not again! <laughs> No, not memories! <laughs> oh boy. Shuichi, I heard you're finally gonna take part in the Gopher Project. Yeah. Are you okay? Are you sure you're not overdoing it? No. If you're overdoing it, you should be resting at home. Oh, 
Hope's Peak Academy is working hard to create an antivirus. Even if they do find a cure, the meteorites are still going to be a problem for us. Oh boy, that's a real shame. <laughs> Cause like, do, like, you know, the like anime have like, you know, some ultimate like, you know, drug manufacturer or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it was like powered specifically to like create new drugs. Yeah, it was uh, the girl with the mask, I think. Yeah, Brace's girl. <laughs> hey man, don't look so sad. You're about to go on an adventure, right? Never mind, the world is ending. Boys and girls going on a space trip together. You guys gonna do it? Yeah, you gonna do it? What are you guys talking about? I mean, eventually, that's part of the. That's like one of the reasons for this whole thing. They're just like, come on, Suichi, I see your hat. No, you're a perv, right? Congrats, Suichi. <laughs> I heard there are some hot girls there. I told you, don't look so sad. Gotta do it. If things get too rough, then just remember all the fun times we had together. So Oh boy. Give our hope. Yeah, just do it, Suichi. You'll actually gain a power up. <laughs> That's what Baki has taught us. <laughs> remember, you're everyone's hope. Ah, uh, that memory. <laughs> I have to remember my friends now of all times. Uh, um, Come on, Kuma's is doing. He may just remember this. Memory's no cause for despair. Yeah, there's no way we can go up. I promise I'd do my best for them. There's no way I'd give up. Okay. Looking for the art power for Antara's survivor perk, right? Leave it to me. Check every nook and cranny of this room. With my magic, of course. Okay, cool. All right, Huiko ran off. What's the lies? What's the truth? <sighs> uh, level two friendship. Yeah. So I know where I want to try and go. I don't know if it's, it's like where the game wants me to go or whatever. Magic. That's true. I should go there next. I think you know where it wants you to go. Alright. Hey, Switchy, I found you. Um, it's checking Kyle's research lab on the sixth floor, but. What is this? Kibo attacked and demolished the wall of the school and caused a new room to appear. Um, um, yeah. It's a really weird room, too. You know, he's come with me. Okay. I'll head to the sixth floor then. Yeah, you'll go there later. Okay. Uh, which floor is this? Fifth? Uh, Ultimate Astronaut Lab is on the first floor. Oh, is that what it means? Yeah. Yeah, she said she was checking Kaido's lab and then a wall broke open. Oh, okay. Are you allowed to teleport there? I don't think I am. Well, I'd assume not. A lot of crap going on. Yeah. Yeah, I figured there might be events, but, you know, if you jump down to the first floor without having to deal with anything great. Well, no, probably not, because you probably have to punch level three, uh, level two debris out of the way. Yeah. Wait, I was going to circle, I'm not sure. Map is disabled, okay. Okay, so I actually have to like remember the school layout. I guess so. And not screw this up. Uh, oh boy. That's asking a lot for me specifically. To the left. That's nah, fine, you got this. I got lost in a circle. It's fine. It was a circle. <laughs> it's fine. <sighs> wait, 
We have to like go through the. Wait, where? Wait, what did he say? Check. What go the sixth floor Samugi was talking about? Okay, all right. I, yeah. I think I think it would be still in Kaito's lab because it goes up all those flights of stairs. Yeah, like the gate's not stopping, so I must be head in the right direction. Yeah. The logic zone's like desperate to be lost. Uh, I can't do this yet. That's level three. Go the other way. Uh, hang a right. Okay, here we go. <sighs> if only we had like Kaide's figure strength right now. We only have faint memories of it. Through the funky door. That funky doorway. Yikes! Leave it to me, everyone. Oh, it was wrong away. I guess I, I guess I just kinda smacked you and ran off. Yeah, like, I punched by giant rod and was fine. <sighs> it probably took away some of your time or something. Why the heck was this door like Kaido's again or like Kokichi's again? It's Kaido's door. Yeah, I meant to say like Kokichi's. Why wasn't it? Why was it like Kokichi's? It wasn't. Wait, no, it's a weird checkered pattern. Yeah, but it's not Kokichi's door. But it looks like it belongs to him. But it's not. But why'd they do that? To make you think it was, I guess. Whoops. But, like, that doesn't make sense. Like, the only context that makes sense in is the context in which, like, yo, Kaido and Kokichi have to be linked in the future with this impromptu plan they made up on the fly. I mean, white and black works for, like, a spaceship color scheme, also. It's mm -hmm. really weird, so I can't figure it out. Oh. These must be the sleeping pods we are in. Yeah, uh, geez, not good! Kaido's lab is the sixth floor. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Well done. Oh, okay, I guess we were just dressed like this all along. I guess. Wait! Well, I'm not mentally ready. <laughs> well, Rods probably don't need to mentally prep himself the way. Wait, then why'd we come out in, like, normal, like, school uniforms at the start? Yeah. Oh? Do need to be put in cold sleeves? I'm still changed like you, I'd feel lonely if I were the only one still, still awake. Oh I'm really okay, this is my first time cold sleeves, so I'm just playing nervous. Same for all of us. <laughs> it's a man's dream to leave Earth behind and travel across the stars. What careless, just effing idiot, yeah. Break up, we got friends here, so don't start fighting with each other. No oh, friends, you say? Yeah, right. <laughs> You're friends from here on out. Correct you, talking about friends. Yeah. Who, boy. Because... Six two us are gonna be here together from now on. So, even without the killing game thing, the fact that they got Correcchio in here is terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Because he would have turned out to be a killer anyways. Yeah, to be fair, we also have Maki. <sighs> so if Correcchio did try something, we will be able to stop him fairly easily, I think. <laughs> yeah, without the killing game and yeah. the consequences, even if he made a move and killed someone, Maki like, would have murdered the crap out of him. Correcchio may have been able to like, kill one person, but then, like, Maki would just wreck his day so <laughs> hard. Yeah. Man, yeah. Like, looking back, 
really wish, like, K, they just stayed the main character, you know? <laughs> oh, did someone say Friends? Did someone say Seesaw? <laughs> But yeah, like, I don't know, Shuichi's, you know, he's got some interesting stuff to him, but, you know, a lot of times he just feels like Makoto again. Well, like, yo, Kaede actually was kind of, like, you know, a bit of a unique character. Shuichi's a little more confident than Makoto ever was. Yeah, I guess, but, you know... And, uh, that's miss, like, all of Kaede's just weird, like, off-ball, like, antics and stuff, you know? Yeah, she was a little weird. Yeah, would have been a lot more fun as the main character, I think. Yeah, that's right. Ugh, she was such a difficult time, so I think we all become good friends. Right, what you say? Plus, there's that whole, like, you know, super hard, like, oh, I just believe in friendship thing, which, you know, yeah, it just fits the game just too well. We have from Cold Sleep, we'll have no choice but to live together. Yes, yeah, so we all better get along. Yeah, we're already friends. You and Atuus says we're friends. Sounds like a pain, but okay, I guess. Yeah, what about you? Uh, okay. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad. <sighs> there are high times you fight, we smile, me. That's what true friendship is. Cool if we call be like that. All 16 of us. As long as we leave the degenerate males out. Just can't escape it. Oh boy, Tinko. You were like good for a moment. To be, to just... be fair, to be fair, this is way pre-character development. Oh boy. Yeah, I think us guys should be included too. Alright, but let's do it. Probably a couple of years before we all see each other again. But let's all work together and do our best. Right. Yeah, because we are humanity's last... Jeez, like... Honestly, like, why the heck was Tinko just included in this? Considering how much she hates men. Yeah, that will have been, like... Like, there's, like, a very clear concept when, like, like putting together our actual astronaut teams. Where it's like, oh hey, we want to make sure these are personality types that will actually be able to like work together. Well, remember, they just happen to be the 16 people who were immune to the disease, to the virus, except for Kaito. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I feel like you're in that circumstance. It's like, kind of foolish to specifically like, pick someone for the group that you know will cause problems in the group and just raise tensions. Okay, but also, uh, it seems way less silly when the whole when the whole plan is to counteract the extinction of the entire human race. Getting getting as many people onto the shuttle, regardless of their personality, uh, probably way more important. Especially if it's a woman. <laughs> <sighs> so that's some show. I'll see you guys later. It's the one character who would like never ever actually have sex with anyone. Ever. I don't know, she might, considering the circumstances. Jeez, like she might outgrow it, but yeah, that seems like a pretty huge risk for like, yo, know, like potentially putting the entire mission in jeopardy. What's she gonna do? Start killing all the dudes? Well, she might, like, you know, screw with things and, like, you know, I'm, like, not actively kill people, but, you know, like, hey, maybe, you know, she leads to, like, high tensions and someone's like, alright, let's just throw her out. And, you know, people disagree and it leads to, like, confrontation. It's not exactly a great thing to have with your, like, you know, like, supposedly close-knit group of survivors. Eh, they probably, they probably tested the, everyone who was a part of it and decided, and decided, uh, I, I, like, I'm pretty sure, it, well, no, it wasn't exactly voluntary, because they ran from it. I don't know. Yeah. So, Mugi, you remember, too? Yeah, this was the room, all right. Back then, we all said we'd to go. We promised we'd be friends. Now we're killing each other? Why'd have to end up like this? Because Danganronpa. 
All right, Maku and the new crew master aren't controlling them. Yeah, all right. Let's bound him out of how and Nara one and then kill the game for good. Let's let's finally fulfill this promise we all made. Law is missing now, but it's not too late. Okay, go for project participant list. Ain't there a particular note? Well, it's a list. Stuff that I know, but it's not the important part. It's about Kaede. She has a twin. You fucking serious? It's like she has a younger twin sister. So she's adopted by a relative and they barely had any contact, but... Or because Junko, she also had twin sister. Uh, okay, Yoshi. A twin? No, are you serious? Junko is your twin sister. Run our killing game from behind. If Kaede's the mastermind, that would be the dumbest. I should mention it too, Suichi. First time hearing that Kai has a twin, but is that relevant? <sighs> Bows got more intense. If we're gonna be okay, it seems like villain's gonna break soon too. Safe so feeling involvement. Yeah, all right. There's a chance that Maku will defeat Kyo before that, right? Yeah, we should hurry. Doesn't have a lot of faith in your boy Kibo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hit him in the back of the library. Yeah, we have three friendship points. Heck yeah. Three Samugi points. Three plain points. Yeah. We have three plain points, and one of them comes from Suichi. Yeah, His Maki was too spicy. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's a bit more effective. <laughs> yeah. ah, he's asleep. Oh, no, he's not. What's well, asleep? He's probably like, holy crap, it's hot in here. <laughs> I think this is the right way. So I can turn the AC on a little bit. All these frilliness pellets. <laughs> Get out of here, Mono Kid. Oh, he's just leaving? What? Wait, what? What was that? You have to get him out of the way. Leave it to me, everyone. Sure. Get lost, idiot. Clip through that like epic metal like food super hard though, whatever it's called. Uh, it's fine. Don't look at it too hard. Two, three. Oh boy. You ready to slap the last tier of debris with four times each? Oh boy. Oh, there's the library. Yeah, there we go. Fortunately, that didn't get destroyed. Suichi's like, count yeah, to the arcade, and he's like, I'll get one last game of Pac Man in before I die. <laughs> you come here. You're very best getting older as you'd have to come here eventually. Before you do listen to what I have to I say. I've been waiting, Suichi. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the blueprints? Yeah. Something caught my eye that worried me. Now I'm not sure how significant it is. What is it, Mike? It's the flashback light. Okay. It's drawn with too much detail. The vacuum, what peculiar shape. Shit sucks up bugs called a bug back. Okay. 
Kokichi camp with the design, but I thought there weren't any bugs outside of Gota's lab. Because no. of tiny bugs. Yeah, go to think that before, but when I'm walking in courtyard, go to think he see tiny bug. But bugs so tiny, go to not see it. With go to twipe over like 0 0.625 eyesight. Go to just make mistake, but go to think. No, I may go to just see things. Remember, go to was always seeing small bugs. Yeah, so just seeing things though. Make a key chance and invent that to see for yourself. Huh? Okay. Now I went to Moose Lab. Well... Uh, prototype. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? Like, just another, like, random Moo invention after her death. I mean, she was the ultimate inventor. Just seems, like, super contrived that we just keep getting all these, like, you know, very specific, like, plot-relevant things for Moo after she dies. They didn't come up until now. <laughs> like, he just are like, oh, hey, look at this thing Moo made for some reason. When has Kokichi ever been, uh, like, when has Kokichi ever, like, fully revealed everything he's got going on? Like, why would he keep this a secret, though? Why wouldn't he? What, like, actual reason would he even have? Because it's Kokichi. <laughs> that's, like, that's not an excuse, though. It, it is, because it's super in character. Oh, man. Kokichi was constantly hiding things from everyone. <laughs> this makes total sense. Seems like the career just want an excuse to, like, pull new, like, inventions out of nowhere when they needed to, and Kokichi was just the most convenient character for it. I see. So there's no bugs, it was just Gota's imagination after all? If there were bugs, I don't know how that would be a clue. Whatever. But I'd tell you, especially since I spent a lot of time investigating it. Okay, let's okay. do more to it than that. Ah. Oh, you guys are here? Yeah. We're all gonna meet up, why don't you tell me? I couldn't find you and so I was starting to get worried. Um, hey. Yeah, and where were you up till now? Well, Rain Tower's room, right? Did you find anything interesting? Another one of Mew's inventions. Oh my god. <laughs> um. I tell you, stop talking to me. Shut up. If I say I didn't find anything, you're good to say I'm useless, aren't you? I'll let that happen. Oh, so you didn't? I don't expect anything from you anyways. Well, that's just as bad. Alright. It's fine, Himiko. Hiding in your room would be the safest place. Did someone take it? You're right. Gotta check with the behind the hidden door, right? Let's hurry and do it. Yeah, Yoshi says you tried. Indoors where Rantar was investigating just before he died. My sewing in there, that would be a valuable clue. Keep it, we need a door blasted away. Okay. Do um. I only be open with a card key? There must be something here. That's true. We kill them and end the killing game. Well, we can't kill them. If you do that, you would be the same. I mean, at this point, I don't think it matters. Found you. You guys have been doing whatever you feel like, huh? You can't just go anywhere you want without permission. Father will get mad. Go away, Monotaro. I don't like it when Father gets mad. So before he finds out about this, I'm gonna destroy you all. Damn it! Everyone run! Hmm. Ah, I can't move! Don't 
dynamic entry. Okay. Kyo, you saved us. As a reward, I'll use my magic to turn you into a real boy. <laughs> See me open that door, right? Okay. Yeah, do it. Nothing to do since I charge my. Yeah, it's dangerous for you to close. This is not doing her like any bullcrap. He was like, I am not in the mood. Wait, this is called a rocket launcher. That's fine. <laughs> it's a mega buster, don't worry about it. The door's completely destroyed. Alright, Master on time there, no doubt about it. Okay, all of us have to strike back. Join you by to hold off the exocells here. Shuichi is up to you. Please catch the Master no matter what. Okay. With this small entrance, I have the advantage. 